What is up guys? California Phantom here. Let's talk about drone crashes. So you've had the unfortunate situation, the unfortunate experience of crashing your drone. What do I do? How do I make sure it's not my fault? And how do I get the drone company like Autel or DJI to foot the bill for the repair? Nothing is more painful than getting that email from that drone company. We regret to inform you, blah, blah, blah. It has been determined, blah, blah, blah. Pilot error, blah, blah, blah. Here's your 10 to 15% discount on a future drone. This video is not going to be about drone maintenance or the start procedure. There's plenty of those videos that exist on YouTube and my channel. I'm actually going to throw it up around here somewhere on a card about my video on proper drone maintenance and start procedure. But what today this video is going to be about is flight data. Any drone that's worth a damn is going to have onboard flight data. This flight data is going to measure the stick inputs as well as a whole bunch of other telemetry information that drone manufacturers can use to determine liability. But you as that drone end user can utilize that flight data to determine the overall health of your drone to verify not only is the stick inputs operating correctly, but things such as battery temperature, operational temperature, distance, and a whole bunch of other things that are recorded utilizing that flight data. The simplest and most robust air flight data system that I'm familiar with is AirData. AirData.com is not an affiliation or no way an affiliation. I just think that it's the most streamlined process and even as a free user, you can gain so much by the number of flights that it records for you for free. It's the easiest way to retrieve the flight information and upload it onto an email to provide for your corresponding drone manufacturer. Recently and conveniently, Air Data has paired with Autel to provide flight information for all of your Autel drones. Accessing and backing up your flight data is as simple as launching into the Autel Explorer app, tapping the upper right hand corner, going to your flight data, making sure that you're logged in, and clicking the upper right hand corner to synchronize all of your flights. Now that the synchronization has been completed, you can log on to airdata.com to access and back up all of your flight data. As far as syncing your flight data with the airdata.com website, you want to make sure you click over onto your account and you log into your prospective manufacturer's uh, login. So under the Autel login, you click in here, you sync your drones, sync all, and you log into any drones that you may have. All right, so and if you have a free account and you'd like to share this particular flights, then you can just click on any particular flight that you want. You could search for flights, search for dates of flights utilizing this menu here. But it's really simple. You just go to here, you click on a flight that you want to send, and it's as simple as creating a unique sharing link. Copy the link here and send it to Autel, DJI, whatever. It truly is that simple to share your flight data. I know there's a lot less control or a lot less features if you're having that free 100 flight data account for air data, but air data definitely is the most robust system and the one of the only ones that have as, as many features as it has being a completely free uh, website. And that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe. If you haven't already, drop me a comment down below letting me know if you used air data, if this helps you at all, trying to recover flight information, maintenance, all that good stuff. I always love hearing from you guys. We'll catch you on the next adventure.